Hello, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, Living the Word. Do not adjust your screen. Don't think that you've messed up. The video is recording. I actually wanted to start this way with us today because many of you are very familiar with me and you're familiar with my voice. And so you know who it is that's speaking to you. But honestly, do you? Because I could be somebody different. I could be somebody who sounds like Pastor Brian. I could be Jaden, who can mimic Brian, Brian very well. You really have no clue who it is that's speaking to you because you can't see me. What makes this so interesting is I want to take us back to the verse that we looked at yesterday. The one that actually said to us in 1 John that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. How important is the light? The light is very important because as you're looking at this video, watching what appears to be a black screen, even though I literally am sitting in front of the recording, you can't tell who really is speaking to you. Because why? Because you can't see my face. But if I turn on just a little light, you will see my face. You will know who it is that's speaking to you. This reminds me of that passage in 1 John uh, where it said that, it, that God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. Many times we will think we're hearing from God, but how do we know if we're actually hearing from God or not? Well, there's a great test. Is there light in it or is there darkness? If there's anything that's outside of what God's will would be or God's character would be more in particular or what His Word would say, no matter how you look at it and no matter how you slice it, it's not from God. I'll give you an example, a practical example. A lot of people, when they start dating, think, well, this is the person that God has for me. And one of the questions I will ask them very simply is, are they a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, no, they're not. But they're a good person and I love them. Well, let me ask you, what does God's word say? What concord has uh, uh, right to, uh, Christ with Baal, right, comes on the hills of when he says, What fellowship hath the light with the darkness? Or in more particular, be ye not unequally yoked together with them. That's the point. So, really, in all honesty, sometimes in our life we hear these questions all the time, and we ask those questions all the time. What is your will for me, God? What would you have me to do? Well, I'm going to put it to you this way. If you're looking for the will of God, oh, that looks a little spooky. I apologize, guys. If you're looking for the will of God, you might be hearing from God, but is it light? Is it bringing brightness? Is it bringing you closer to God and sweeter communion with God? Or is it something that you have to compromise in any way, shape, or form, righteousness or God to attain? Because if you have to compromise it, then what it really is, is darkness. And you're not seeing God. You're not seeing the light. So let's walk in the light as he is in the light. And may the peace of God rule in your heart that surpasses understanding. And always, please, 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 always remember, I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.